iLive Editor is a software application for PC or Mac control of a system using a laptop, touch tablet or networked computer. It can be run offline to pre-configure the system or online to control a live mix. Editor and the Surface can work together at the same time, for example mixing monitors using a laptop on stage while the Surface controls the front of house mix. Several laptops can simultaneously control one system. Show files can be archived, created or edited using the laptop and can be recalled online using Editor or transferred to another system using a USB key. Editor supports several popular operating systems and is available for free download from our website. A laptop running Editor can control the iLive using a wired or wireless connection to any iLive network port. Plug a standard Cat5 network cable between the laptop network port and any iLive network socket. Ensure your laptop is set for static IP by opening the network adapter property and check that all devices on the iLive network have compatible IP addresses. Wireless operation is possible using a standard Ethernet router. This gives the operator complete freedom to move around the venue and stage, adjusting the sound where it is needed. Plug a wireless router or access point into any iLive network socket, and use the laptop wireless connection to connect to the iLive. Wireless routers have an IP address to identify them on the network. This address is also used to access their settings. Some routers default to 192.168.1.1, which conflicts with the default iLive mix rack address. In this case, change the address of the router. For example, 192.168.1.254 before plugging it in. Refer to your wireless router guide for setup instructions. Most wireless routers have DHCP enabled by default. Check that the DHCP address range is restricted to avoid conflict with the iLive and other connected devices with static IP addresses. Your laptop will be set for DHCP to automatically receive its address from the router. We strongly recommend that you enable wireless security on your router to prevent unauthorised access. It can take up to a few minutes for Editor to connect to iLive. Surface operation and metering may be interrupted for a brief moment due to the increased network activity. Audio is not affected. Once connected, normal surface operation resumes. The Editor interface comprises drop-down menus, a top toolbar to open screens and strip views, and a left toolbar to select which view opens when select is pressed, the number of processing windows that can be opened simultaneously, and the setup mode. Select Off for normal live mixing, Strip to drag and drop channels into the surface layout or custom strips, I.O. to drag and drop whilst assigning input and output sockets, and colour to name and colour channels. Right click over a channel or master strip for copy, paste and reset functions, routing assignment and scene safe status. Use the File menu, USB drive item to choose which USB port or folder to use with Editor. Use the Option menu to set preferences such as the colour scheme, number of channels per window, meter and RTA options, and scene automation options. Use the Tools menu to open windows for scene control, PFL-AFL control and talkback and to access the Show Manager, 
Scene Manager and Library Manager. Use the Setup menu to access the MixRack bus architecture and preferences, I.O. patch, ganging, delays, network settings and more. The editor application can itself be controlled via MIDI, letting the user add third-party MIDI controllers to access selected parameters. Such a device would connect to the laptop MIDI or USB port. MIDI instructions can be learned or manually entered. To set up MIDI, go to the Editor Setup MIDI Setup menu and enable the device you want to use from the list. Right-click on a control within Editor, for example a fader. Click MIDI Learn and move the external MIDI controller over its full travel. Alternatively, go to the Editor Setup MIDI Control Map menu. Click New and use the drop-down menu to find the parameter. Fader levels, mute and paffle switches, pan, high pass filter switch and frequency preamp gain and pad can be currently controlled in firmware version 1.82. Click learn and then move the external controller. Fixed target controls one parameter for a specific channel, while focus controls one parameter for whichever channel is currently selected. Once set up you can save the MIDI map as an XML file using the save button. Previously saved maps can be restored using the load button.